Alright guys, uh, so as you may have noticed, it's been a little bit since I posted a video. It's been about uh, three weeks or so. And that's because, you know, finals are coming up and, you know, school's coming to an end. So, um, I haven't had a lot of time uh, for YouTube. So, uh, but today anyways, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite uh, tricks. It's a, it's a triumph effect, so it's really, really cool. And uh, here's basically what it looks like. So, um, the deck is shuffled up, but the thing is that you can just pick any card. So it doesn't it doesn't matter whatever like the deck is shuffled up or not. You can just pick any random card. So let's just say you pick this one from the from the middle. Uh, like I said before, it doesn't really matter. It's a random card. So you can see that you've picked the ten of spades. So here here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this in the pack, and then I'm also gonna mix up the deck as well. So I'm gonna riffle my thumb down the side, and then I want you to tell me when to stop. So let's say you tell me to stop here, and you can see, and tell me when to stop again, so stop here, and then one more time. Okay, so uh, like I said, or like I was saying, you can see that the deck is getting mixed up, but the thing is that some cards are getting face up, some cards are getting face down, so it's kind of hard to tell uh, where your card is, you know, in all this mess. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one half of the deck, we can say this is the face the face up half but you can't really tell for sure and then we'll just take this the face down half and we're gonna shuffle these together okay so you can see if I really give these a good shuffle okay making sure each one face up face down you can see when I just square these up just like this they really genuinely are getting mixed up here and you can see if I give the deck just one little cut like this with a snap the deck should reset itself leaving one card face down in the middle and that's yours the ten of spades right there alright guys uh, so that is the trick I hope you guys like it and uh, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial alright so here's how you're going to be able to do the trick so um, this trick isn't necessarily a beginner's trick but it really isn't that advanced either there's a few moves in it but uh, nothing that I think that you guys couldn't handle so basically um, it's a triumph effect, so it looks like all the cards are getting mixed up, but they're really not. Okay, so there is some background of the trick, and then here's you know how you can be able to do it. So to start off, what you want to do is you want to give the deck a little bit of a bend. Okay, so don't worry, this isn't going to necessarily ruin your cards. Um, you can just bend it back the other way by doing this, and they're going to be straight again. But to start off the trick, you want to take your cards and you want to make sure they're face up in your hand, and you want to bend them in words like this. Okay, so that way the back is getting bent up and the face of the cards is kind of, you know, stuck out like this. So you bend it like this, you give it a little bend, and then you're ready to go. So you can show the spectators, you can say, look, we can shuffle up the cards if you want, and you can just do a little overhand shuffle, and the spectator can really pick any card they want. That's the beauty of it. It's an impromptu trick. The spectator can pick any card and it'll work. So you can spread out the deck, and the spectator can pick whatever card they like. So it doesn't matter. Now, what you're going to do from here is you're going to show them the card, you want to flip over the deck, and you want to take the spectator's card, and you want to put that right there on the deck, just like this. So you tell the spectator, okay, so you could have picked any card, but in this case, you picked the two, uh, the two of clubs, and you set it face up on the bottom of the deck, just like that. Now, from this point, you tell the spectators that you're going to riffle through the deck, and they're going to stop you, you're, you're going to tell you to stop three times, okay? So here's um, what you're going to have to do here. So... You ask the spectator to tell me when to stop, and when you riffle down, they can say stop wherever. You flip over that packet, but you leave your thumb in the same position, and you say, okay, tell me when to stop again. And then all you want to do is riffle down even further. Okay, so you want to riffle down even deeper in the deck, and the spectator tells you to stop. They say stop. You riffle down again, and then you want to riffle down even further in the deck down in this portion, okay? And you want to flip that over again. If you need to see that again, you might need to rewind it, but basically, um, the spectator is just telling you to flip over the packets um, three times, but you want to keep riffling them down deeper and deeper. Um, that way, the spectator thinks that the cards are going to be all mixed up, they're going to be face up, face down, but in reality, the deck looks like this. Half the deck is going to be facing one way, half the deck is going to be facing the other way, and remember in the beginning I told you to bend your cards? At the beginning, when I told you to bend your cards, you can see when these two faces touch each other, okay? You can see there's an actual, there's a natural break in the cards, and you can see, you can clearly see it, okay, right in the back. Well, here's what you're going to do. When you have this break, at this point, you can tell your spectators, so the deck is mixed up, it's face down, 
uh, face up, face down, your card is going to be lost somewhere in the middle. There's no way that I'm going to be able to find out, you know, where it is. But as you're misdirecting them, as you're talking to them, you're going to come over with your right hand and you're going to pick up that break, transfer it to a pinky break. Okay, so nothing too serious here. You just take the break, transfer it to a pinky break. And as you're still talking to them, you can tell the spectators, so, you know, the card's lost in there. There's nowhere for me to find it. All you have to do is take the top packet dribble down one card and then catch that card with your pinky break like this and now this is where your break should be you should have your pinky break right above this whole face up packet and one face down card and that face down card is actually the spectator selection you have that in a pinky break and then from this point you tell the spectators okay so I'm gonna do one more thing with the cards I'm gonna go ahead and mix some up even more so I'm gonna go ahead and take the deck and you don't have to really tell the spectators what you're doing you just tell them that you're going to take two portions of the deck, so you take it from the break. You say, I'll take the face up half, and you kind of you just flip this one over, and you hold this in your hands, but you don't want to reveal the face up cards below the top card. So you kind of you leave this packet squared up. You don't want them to, to see any of the face up cards. So you transfer this um, so you can do a riffle shuffle, and then you take the face up cards, and you don't have to spread them out like that, because if you spread these, this half out this way, and you don't spread out this half, it makes it look kind of weird. So all you want to do is you want to leave that packet like this, and you tell the spectators this is the face-up packet, and you know they'll obviously believe you, and you say we'll take the face-down cards, and we'll mix them up even more. So from this point, you want to riffle shuffle them, but you want to conceal the face-up cards in this packet. So you're just going to take your hands really close, just like this. You're going to riffle shuffle them really close so the spectators can't see it, and you're going to riffle shuffle them but you want to make sure you leave that face down card on top just like that okay so you really did riffle shuffle the cards and you square them up like this and you tell the spectators so now the deck is even getting more shuffled up but you don't want to reveal to the spectators what's going on you just square it up so in reality it looks like this all the cards are actually face up except for that top card so then you tell the spectators and you say look so when you square up the deck actually you square it up and you say, look, all the cards are mixed up, but you can see if I just give the deck one cut, and you cut this middle card, this face down card, to the middle, which is their selection, you complete the cut, and then you say, look, with a snap, you snap your fingers, you spread the deck, and you say, one card is still face down. You can see the entire deck has reset itself except for one card, and this card is, and you take it out, and it is the spectator selection. So guys, that is the trick. Um, I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.